so you and I have trained together a number of times. Uh, <laughs> you and I have had the same teacher as Josephine Barrington, but you were instrumental in starting the the Crest Hour Company, which went around to high schools. That's right. One of the high schools it came to was my high school. I believe it was 1964, and I saw, I believe, you in Passion, Poison, and Petrifaction. You did indeed. Which is one of the reasons why I'm here now. Oh. Because it is that experience in high school yeah. of watching you come in that actually gave me that, that much more confidence to actually say, well, maybe I do want to do it. Not because you were expecting to be poisoned here. No. <laughs> no. One was hoping, though. <laughs> Where's the petrifaction? <laughs> Why did you start that company? Um, well, John Hirsch had already started a company in Winnipeg. And uh, I went out to, to see what they did. And um, John and um, my brother Murray had um, agreed that they would each take um, people from the graduating class at, at the National Theatre School and use them in the company and also use them as um, to tour schools to mm -hmm. you know to introduce a new generation so to speak to to theater because of course there hadn't been any to speak of and when you went to winnipeg to see john hirsch do it what year was that uh that would have been the year before uh the crest started. That would have been 62, I guess. Um, and let me see. And uh, we, we could not get the, the um, Board of Education interested that first year. So through some people who, um, I can't remember who they were at the moment, but people who had been involved with the board of the Crest, they got the, um, um, oh God, the Junior League, mm -hmm. which was a, a women's uh, kind of do good support group. You know, they had, they had, um, they had a shop with secondhand clothes, and they they did all kinds of things. Anyway, the Junior League took it on. They did all the bookings, uh, and they uh, did they fund it? No, the Crest funded it. Oh, that I first see. Year. Yeah. So the Junior League was kind of the booking agent and facilitator, and they. Uh, they were all volunteers, and they drove us around. We didn't go outside of Toronto that first year because the the Board of Education wanted to uh, make sure it was something the schools wanted. So um, so were the schools leery of arts or traveling actors? I don't think the schools were. I, th I think the Board of Education was. They, they would pick us up and drive us around to the schools and bring us back to the crest. And then the next year, the, the board had apparently uh, decided that the schools wanted this. So uh, they took it on and we, um, they were able, and they rented a, a bus. So we went all over. We went, you know. And came to my school. Yeah. Where was your school? Richmond Hill. Richmond Hill. Well, we went to Northern Ontario, too. We went to Wawa and... Uh, um, How long were you out for? Oh, uh, three months, anyway. Maybe it was four. But the stipulation was that we had to do the grade... Um, things from the grade 13 curriculum. Right. Now we did not do entirely the grade 13 curriculum, but we had to um, do some of it. And to be crass, did the school board fund it? I think they did. 
then, by then. Yes, that, I don't know whether it was the school board or the government of Ontario. So I'll tell you a nasty little story. Are we allowed to do that? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> because um, I don't know whether that would have been 64 or 65. Um, the, the Crest lost its Ontario Council grant. I think it was the Ontario Council, one of the Council grants anyway. And the idea was that, therefore, the our company would no longer be able to, to go out. Um, well, this was September. I think I must have been doing some television or radio or something. Anyway, I had some money in my bank account. And I was determined that we were going to take the, our company out. So for the first week, I paid them. Mind you, in those days, it wasn't very much, dear, you know. <laughs> but, and I got a call from his name was Carmen, forgotten what his first name was, with the Ontario Arts Council. And he screamed at me, how dare I do such a thing? For what reason was he screaming? Because they wanted to, <laughs> there was a lot of politics going on. They wanted it to disappear? Yeah. Why? Well, as I say, there was a lot of politics. And there were a few people who wanted the crest out. Right. Who wanted the crest out? All right. <laughs> 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 well, do you remember Arthur Galba? Yes. Well, Arthur was very upset because he had not been asked to be on the board of the Crest. Now, that was, uh, that was done on purpose, but not for the reason that Arthur thought. I mean, he put the rumor around that the Crest was anti-Semitic, which was, of course, ridiculous because there were all kinds of Jewish people who worked there. But it was not that Arthur was Jewish. It was that he had been so um, involved with various amateur groups. Oh. And my brothers were absolutely determined that this was going to be a professional company and wanted it to have the appearance of being professional on all levels.